up, everybody? It's the Normies, and we're back for a movie reaction. When the, and we're doing Dune. Oh, oh, Dune. We are doing Dune. Uh, we did a book club on this. Link Who is read in, it? Link is in the description. I read it. This I'm, guy. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be the pretentious book reader for the, for this reaction. Uh, but yeah, man, I'm excited. This is a long movie, two and a half hours. Um, I'm excited. I'm just excited to see how it gets adapted. I think, Dameron, you saw the old school. Has anybody seen the original? I have been in a room when the movie was playing. <laughs> I think but I didn't really pay much attention to it. Yeah. yeah. I saw Patrick Stewart do some weird stuff. I know that they mentioned I, the yeah. Spice Melange in that one episode where they're so. trying to get Tom uh, Brady's poop. <laughs> the Spice. Um, I saw some disturbing. Uh, yeah. disturbing and I never shit. saw Yodorowsky's Doom, the documentary series about the Doom that would have been made. Oh, man. I have. Right. Right. Comic right. Book Girl 19 talks about Doom a lot. Right. I stopped paying attention. Yeah. Um, um, I have only watched the trailer, which was gave me nothing, and I know nothing. Hi, I'm Rena. <laughs> Zendaya, Jason Momoa. This one Josh I'm here Brolin, for. Josh Brolin, Oscar Isaac. No, this, uh, I'm here for Jason Momoa. Uh, Papa, yeah. Papa mm -hmm. Skarsgård. Mm -hmm. There's yeah, it's a stacked okay. movie, dude. Yeah. Um, I did watch about, oh. kind of accidentally watched about three fourths. Of the original film. So even though I know how most of the story goes, <laughs> I still see. have no idea how it you ends. You have no idea how it ends. No clue. This is also, like, I think this is the first part of the first book, right? That's what I've heard. So. Um, yeah, I think sure. Serge mentioned that this is not the full... Yeah, this is like because it is a okay. thick movie. Like yeah. if if they if this does well, this has the potential it's a to heavy be. Boy, I would say it has the potential to be like close to a ten movie franchise. Like it, there, there's a ten. There's a lot. Like this, this is just the first book. Then there's two more main. Can books. you keep the public interested for that long? Harry Potter, I mean, Harry Potter <laughs> Marvel, you know. The Marvel. Dune Cinematic Universe. If Come they on. do it right, like this is a really, really good. Uh, yeah, it, it is known as like the grand grandfather of sci-fi. Like it's a, it's very influential in the sci-fi genre. Um, I'm excited. It's for also very like we were opera. talking about how it's very eclectic in its naming, but then the structure of command is like. Old school English. Yeah. So it's very interesting. It's like a mixture of culture and concept. There's going to be a lot of exotic vernacular and a lot of exotic names. That was the one thing I struggled with is just it just throws a lot at you. So I I, I, um, I just think like the beginning of the movie, we should try to probably pay attention a little closer. Oh, cool. So, can all right. We, can we make something easy real quick? Yeah. The main character's name is Paul. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's it. That's Paul. it. I don't know how to remember that. Did you say yeah. doll? Uh, no, Paul. <laughs> Paul, Paul, Paul. But, uh, uh, you know, guys, remember, this is not a market substitute. We're watching it on HBO Max. Uh, check it out while it's there, because I think it's going to go to... Is it, Are they going to take it off and it's going to go to theaters for a little bit? Um, I, don't I don't know if that's how it works. Well, they it, have it on for a limited amount of time. Yeah, there you go. It's on Max for now, so check it out there and uh, support it. You know, check out the uncut for this. On um, P Patreon, because YouTube, you're only getting like a 20 minute slice of this, but this is a two and a half hour movie. So it's there's a, big a lot beefy of pie. a lot of reaction that you guys don't see, but we provide it for you guys on our Patreon. Go check it out there. Yep. Support us there uh, and it helps us do more stuff for you guys. And yeah, let's get to it. Hit the like button, comment below, subscribe. All that stuff helps us out with engagement and the algorithm. Help us out to get uh, to get to a million guys. We're, 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 we're on our way. All right, so let's do this. You can see spice in the air. At nightfall, the spice harvesters land. The outsiders race against time to avoid the heat of the day. They ravage our lands in front of our eyes. Their cruelty to my people is all I've known. The Harkonnens came long before I was born. Damn. By controlling spice production, they became obscenely rich. Richer than the emperor himself. Hmm. They came out of the sand, that was boss. Oh shit. Our warriors couldn't free Arrakis from the Harkonnens, but one day, by imperial decree, they were gone. Why did the emperor choose this path, and who will our next oppressors be? This music's very 2001 and I love it. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. Part yep, one. part Let's one. Part well, one. there it goes. Uh, that's good though. Yeah. This story needs the time to breathe. Ten, nineteen, one ninety-one. It's supposed to be about twenty thousand years from now. If you want tips, make me give it to you. Use the voice. Give me the water. The glass can't hear you. Command me. Give me the water. What the hell? Oh, you mean? Hmm? Almost. You look tired. More dreams. No. Sandstorms powerful enough to cut through metal. Yeah. Only the native tribes known as the Fremen 
have adapted well enough to survive. The Fremen share the deep desert with the giant sandworms. Oh. Exposure to spice has given the tribe their characteristic blue eyes. Little else is known of the Fremen, except that they are dangerous and unreliable. Mm. <laughs> <Like> she, <laughs> it's a very blanket statement. <laughs> spice is the sacred hallucinogen, which preserves life and brings enormous health benefits. Spice. Without spice, interstellar mm. travel is impossible. Oh my gosh. Mm. So that's why they're always uh, interesting. Yeah. Why they said they're who the <coughs> next oppressor is going to be. Right. So and he's always trying to get their shit. Right. Because the spice is only yeah. only found only on this on planet. planet. They better not that's fucking destroy good. the planet. If Long you've learned anything about people. That's right. what I'm saying, dude. That's dirty but uh, spice has more functions than just interstellar travel, too. But, uh, oh, yeah, hallucinations and everything. They'll, they'll get saying. into it, I'm sure. Okay. Yeah, dude, I'm, um, I'm really loving these aesthetics. This is a, it's, it's a lot like the costumes in the David Lynch uh, movie, just modernized. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. I'm is sure, this I'm the sure New there's Age a lot Vatican? of homage. I stand before you as herald of the change. We're witnessed by members of the Imperial Court and a sister of the Bene Gesserit. House Atreides shall immediately take control of Arrakis and serve as its steward. Uh, Hell yeah. So they're next inhabitants. Those are the next... The uh, next oppressors. The Emperor asks us to bring peace to Arrakis. House Atreides accepts. I don't know. The contract is sealed. Here, oh, here comes your boy. Right. That's my boy. Let's go. Is it daddy? It's daddy. It's daddy. Yes, I'm going to Rockies tomorrow with the advanced team. I'd like you to take me with you. That's too bad, because no. <laughs> Can I trust you with something? Always, you know that. I've been having dreams. I saw you with the Fremen. I saw you lying dead, fallen in battle. It felt like if I had been there, you'd be alive. What the? Dreams make good stories, but everything important happens when we're awake. Yeah, put on some muscle. I did. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little coincidental that he's having dreams and they're inhabiting it now. The thing in the very beginning said dreams are what comes from the deep. Dreams are messages from the deep. I like how ancient it feels, even though right? it's so far. Yeah. That, that's that's the juxtaposition I'm loving. When we get to Arrakis, we'll face enormous danger. The great houses look to us for leadership. By taking Arrakis from the Harkonnens and making it ours, he sets the stage for a war. Mining spice, keeping the Fremen in their place. We'd be no better than Harkonnens. No, by making an alliance with the Fremen. That's what I've sent Duncan Idaho to arrange. That dude's name is Duncan Idaho. <laughs> <laughs> Duncan Idaho. <laughs> yep. Oh, the names are going to get wilder from here. I told my father I didn't want this either. I wanted to be a pilot. <laughs> In another world you are. <laughs> <laughs> Star Wars! If your answer is no, you'll still be the only thing I ever needed you to be. My son. My son. Drink. Drink. Don't stand with your back to the door. Tell us you by your footsteps, Gurney Howie. Someone might imitate my stride. I know the difference. That's rude. <laughs> nice. Come on, old man. <laughs> Is that like a shield on him? Yeah. They both have it's a shield, yeah. Slow blade penetrates the That's shield. That's so smart. You fight when the necessity arises, no matter the mood. Now fight! Damn. Well. Damn, you got some moves. Ooh. I have you. You both have each other. I see you found the mood. You don't really understand the grave nature of what's happening to us. For 80 years, Arrakis belonged to House Harkonnen. 80 years of owning the spice fields. Can you imagine the wealth? You've never met Harkonnens before. I have. They're not human, they're brutal. Bruh. Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm homeworld. Yeah, let's meet the Harkonnen people, man. The last of our ships have left Arrakis. <laughs> Very good. Ew. The traitor's voice is rising. The emperor is a jealous man. Dangerous. Ooh, jealous bro, man. What are you doing? Oh, wake up. The Reverend Mother Guy Salimuheim is here. She was my teacher at the Bene Gesserit School. She's now truth sayer to the emperor himself. She wants to know about your dreams. How does she know about my dreams? Why is Dr. Yue here? Your mother asked me to check your vitals. Damn, what? <laughs> So many different ways they're communicating. What? English, sign, sign language, language Mandarin. Mandarin. Defiance in the eyes, like his father. Leave us. You must do everything my reverend mother tells you. <laughs> See you. <laughs> <laughs> you dismiss my mother in her own house. Come here. Kneel. 
damn. That's how you use your voice, boy. How dare you use the voice on me? Put your right hand in the box. I hold at your neck the gong java. Poison needle. Instant death. The test is simple. Remove your hand from the box and you die. It's in the box. Pain. There's some kind of test of maturity? An animal caught in a trap will gnaw off its own leg to escape. What will you do? Oh. <laughs> oh. Silence. I was not fair. Oh. Oh, his arm looks like it's like... Ooh. Oh, face my fear and open it. Pass over me, Mr. Jeremy. Damn, no, he never up. He's like, fuck it. It's just a prank, bro. If you had been unable to control your impulses like an animal, we could not let you live. You inherit too much power. Because I'm a duke's son. Because you are Jessica's son. Yep. It was a test of the truth. the Benny Jesuit powers, baby. But you notice how they're all female? Jane, tell me about these dreams. I had one tonight. What did you see? A girl. A girl. Drink. <laughs> you often dream things that happen just as you dream them. Maybe. Goodbye, young human. <laughs> what? Who are you then? I hope you live. <laughs> Big grandma vibes. No, I'm sorry. We gotta talk about what just happened. Uh, you chose to train him in the way, in defiance of our rules. So much potential wasted in a male. <laughs> you thought you could produce the Kwisatz Haderach. Was I wrong? He is the one. He has a long way to go. Oh, shit. But our plans are measured in centuries. We have other prospects. If he fails his promise, a path has been laid. Let's hope he doesn't squander it. Shit. This, is, this really shit cool. is really good, dude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're doing a really good job. I like this a lot. So it's making me think he's like the one for what to end the spice fucking fight or mm. you shall see what does it mean that i could be the one thousands of years we've been carefully crossing bloodlines to bring forth the one a mind to bridge space and time so oh, fuck <laughs> bro now i don't even feel like my mom anymore I'm like a science experiment so i'm really he's here it's all part of the plan because spice is so valuable for interstellar travel but if a human can bend space time then you don't need the spice Sick. That's pretty sweet. That's sick. Wow. Whoa. The fear of what? Oh. My advanced team has secured the city. We're still smoothing out a few rough spots. What does that mean? Don't be fooled by the welcome. They follow their old master's rules, mandatory attendance. That's Harkin and love out there. Oh, that, that is sick trip. as hell. <laughs> it's like a dragon fly. Yeah, it yeah. is. <laughs> the Benedrosarid have been at work here. Landing superstition. Preparing the way, Paul. These people have waited for centuries for the Lizan al -Gaib. They see you, they see the signs. You are the white savior. How do they see that, though? Shield wall protects yeah. the city from the weather and the worms. <laughs> A thick wall. Literally, look at this place. Like, it's like insane. it doesn't even look like a city. Yeah. It just looks like a fucking like a motherboard. Like a giant pyramid, a <laughs> giant ongoing pyramid. It does have a very like Egyptian kind of feel to it. We're in a desert. What kind of be Mayan, huh? <laughs> it could. <laughs> Why don't you Mayan your own business? Oh. Oh. I'll leave now. <laughs> the hand of God is wreaking havoc on our comm system. That's what worries me, too. Sun's getting too high. We need to seal the doors. What do they say about this hellhole again? It's a shower, you scrub your ass with sand. <laughs> Candidates for a housekeeper, my lady. What is your name? Shadow Mapes, my lady. The rest of you may go. She Fleming. You know the ancient tongues. I know many things. I know that you have a weapon concealed in your bodies. <laughs> the weapon is meant as a gift, if you are truly the one. A bone knife? It's a crisp knife. Oh. I'm here for that. It's a maker. Oh my god. Maker of the deep desert. When you have lived with prophecy for so long, the moment of revelation is a shock. It's an al Qaib, the mother and the son. It is yours, tooth of shy. It's a tooth from the sandworm that's fucking yep. sick. <laughs> you should be out here this hour of the day. They're out here. They don't care about heat stroke. I don't know date pumps could even be found out here. They can't survive without me. Each one of these looks every day the equivalent of five men. Well, should we remove them? Save the water? No. These are sacred. Old dream. 
The worm. Look at the worm. Oh, the God. Worm. It's the Alaskan bullworm. <laughs> Oh. That's dope. Farmed life exists on Arrakis is thanks to the Fremen, who have cultivated deep-rooted terrain, plant cumented roots, stretching more than 400 plants cling to life in a parched... What? What? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Assassination. Get out. Damn, shit. Damn, okay. Where's your shield? Oh, oh there it is. Whoa. <sighs> Wow. Doctor Seeker, the operator must be nearby. Operator was submitted into that hole six weeks ago. <gasps> Sire, I failed you today. You have my resignation. Oh my you would deprive us of your talents at this time. Sire, my honor demands. They tried to take the life of my son! I don't give a damn about your honor. You want absolution? Go catch some spies. <laughs> <laughs> Bet. <laughs> damn, they buried that motherfucker in a wall six weeks ago? Yes! Oh! Uh, oh! The thing must leave. It is human hands. Our pet. Doesn't understand your language. Get dick? out! Dude, what the fuck? I, have, I actually don't know what the fuck that was. <laughs> <laughs> that was not right. It must never be known. Duke Leto Atreides means nothing to our order. But his wife is under our protection, and by extension, her son. Oh, okay. Allow them the dignity of exile. Us Harkonnen would never dream of violating the sanctity of your order. We will not harm them. Dude. Sus. Seriously. Mm -hmm. If the Duke's son lives, now our traitors will live. You? You gave your word to the witch. She sees too much. I said I would not harm them. Arrakis is Arrakis. And the desert takes the weak. My desert. Whoa! I thought he was just fat, guys. <laughs> uh -huh. We are meant to fill every crate every 25 standard days. Jesus. I want to see these harvesting fields myself. Have this judge of the change accompany us. He's here, my lord. Is that, a, is that the homie Idaho? Ah, my boy! <laughs> my boy! <laughs> oh, he's, he's so little. Four weeks I live with the Fremen, hidden in the desert in a community called the Siege. How big was the place? I'd say 10,000 people, and there are hundreds of sieges. The Harkonnen estimate was 50,000 on the whole planet. Ah, well, making kind has advantages. Mm -hmm. The leader has a knife, he won't surrender, sire. It's a Chris knife. It's sacred to his people. Let him pass. No! <laughs> I mean, the Empire... These imperialists to come to this desert planet to take all his resources, the natural people are like, no, don't do that. <laughs> it's all there. Yep. Sir, I respect the personal dignity of any man that respects mine. <laughs> <laughs> I like this guy. Oh. oh. I like him more. <laughs> Thank you, Stilgar. Gift of your body's moisture. <laughs> you accept it in the spirit in which it was given. I believe your people and mine have much to offer one another. As you come here for the spice, you take it, giving nothing in return. Name what you want. Just do not seek our sieges. Do not trespass in our lands. Or leave the desert to the Fremen. That's to fair. Lord, yeah, literally. I cannot promise not to travel into the desert if duty compels me. You will never be hunted while I govern here. It's very honorable. Hmm? That's all I have to say to you. Won't you stay? <laughs> Man, a few words. Hmm. Honor requires that I be elsewhere. She, she. Oh. oh. Fruit. But it will take time. It will take time. <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> Paracompass. The moons here have a magnetic field, so a simple compass needle won't point north. It takes a clever piece of clockwork to sort it out. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Nice. Still suits and sand compactors and all kinds of ingenious things. You admire them. They're fierce, but loyal. They're attuned to the desert. Part of it. It's part of them. You wait till you see it. Where do they get water? Don't answer. I want to find out. Uh, yeah, he'll see. He'll it's see. probably underground water. It's really, really, it's clever. Yeah. That's why I think he also said like few words because like they're in the desert. They want to like conserve energy. Yeah. Judge of the change side, Dr. Liet Kynes. You're the imperial ecologist. Thank you for the still suits. They are Fremen make. With your permission, sire, I must check the integrity of your <laughs> Okay. She's from the Empire, bro. Ain't that the people that told us to come work? Well, you gotta keep in mind they just had that hunter seeker just the other night, you know? A still suit is a high efficiency filtration system. It cools the body and recycles the water lost to sweat. Inside the mask, you'll find a tube to allow you to drink the recycled water. Dang. Dang. Your desert boots are fitted slip fashion at the ankles. Who taught you to do that? Seemed the right way. That's one of your harvesters. You can see the spice scattered over the surface. 
surface. Flutter aircraft looking for worm sign. If you are patient, you should see one. They're drawn by rhythmic noises. Y'all ain't dancing. Shields a death sentence in the desert. It attracts the worms and drives them into a killing frenzy. <laughs> Wasn't ready for that. Yup. Yup. It's the Alaskan bullworm. Mm -mm. Worm sign warning. Acknowledge. Worm sign confirmed. Bro, y'all gonna die. It's such a big one. They'll harvest right up to the last minute. Whoa. Really? <laughs> That's like dangerous. <laughs> gotta I get mean, that money, baby. Yeah, it's, it's a brutal planet. You gotta, you got every, every minute counts. I mean, I know it's a rich business. Hopefully they're making fucking money. <gasps> no! One of the anchors, it's dead. Oh no, get the person out. How many men on that crawler? 21. Oh my. Ships can take six each. Oh no, fuck, Ooh. fuck, fuck. Oh. <laughs> well. Get a handful of that spice, baby. Spice. You guys got it, right? <laughs> Bro, get, why are we all standing? Let's go, hurry Two the minutes. fuck up. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn the spice! Oh, oh my god! Y'all screwed. Oh shit. Oh no. Spice in the air. That's his, that's the name of the one. Hi as fuck. <laughs> The air's just LSD. You gotta <laughs> get in, bro. Okay, don't home alone his ass. Oh my god! I recognize your footsteps. How long was he sitting there, just staring at treads? Oh my god! Gordy dies. Trying to make it to the Uber before Good. the car. Oh, nope. No. Ah, the mouse. Oh, it like liquefies the sand. That's fucking terrifying and awesome. With vibrations. It's like sifting. Yeah. May his passage cleanse the world. And oh the world lord! Oh, look at this move. Can you imagine see? the first time see? seeing oh, this? You'd be like, my. is the, it's like is so the ground opening up? So we're leaving, right? It's plain to see. Everything they've left us is in shambles. We've been set up to fail. That carryall was just old. You know what will happen if I don't get spice production back on track. Arrakis has seen men like you come and go. Take good care of your family. Oh shit. Fuck that's supposed to be. The desert's not kind to humans. I love that it's just like they got like desert people attitudes of like, can't hack it here, huh, bitch? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you came here and thought you were gonna do some dope shit? Turns out you can't even <laughs> stand outside. Spice is a psychoactive chemical. You seem to be sensitive. You'll be fine. It was an allergic reaction. I had a vision. What did you see? Careful that Romeo and Juliet. That's just forbidden. Oh no. She kill him? Ooh. She's Stabitha. I thought I saw my death. Someone will hand me a blade. I don't know who or where. Whoa. Some Ooh. things, though, are crystal clear. I know you're pregnant. Whoa. I bet him for that. It's only been a few weeks. Well, well, that dude seen a lot. Imperial <laughs> Army Planet. This is the Emperor's <laughs> Army. So there's the Sardaukars, House Harkonnen, and House Atreides. Did weird. you see that? Yeah, it was a weird. He like, looks in his brain for stuff. Wait, is it coming? Is there something you need to know about Christ? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 Thank you, heavens. Will you protect our son? With my life. I'm not asking his mother. I'm asking the Bene Gesserit. Ooh. Yeah. Is that different? Why are you having these thoughts? Answer question <laughs> yeah. with something else than another question. If only I had more time. Have a good night, my support. Good night, Kajira. What is that? Fucking glass of water in it. What was that, like a sandwich? I'm going to tell you pill, bro. Pill? Mm -hmm. Oh. Sandwich? <laughs> Where did you <laughs> see? <laughs> I'm, I'm hungry. My, 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 my mind saw a plate and a glass of water. <laughs> sandwich. <laughs> Whoa, you guys are not married? That's why. For a... For a movie like that. I know, I know. For a royal Damn. family? Oh, shit. Ah, uh, shit, dude. Shit's going down. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Not Shadow. <gasps> no! Oh, it, got, it almost got through. Oh, it's drilling. No! Dang. <laughs> 
shout out to Mapes. The doctor? Dr. No Yue? Mm-hmm. But Yue means the moon from Avatar. Well, you know what they say about the moon. It has a dark side. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what they say about the moon? We're getting attacked from space. Oh, oh shit. <gasps> oh my god. Damn. Well, they're just gonna be sitting ducks. Yeah, and with the shields down, like, and all this vibration, bro, the worms. Oh my god, this is just horrible. It's the pipe. That's the, uh, Backpipes. the Iraqis nas- um, traditional. They say nationalistic music or something. Yeah. yeah. Traditional. Oh, the, the, the oh, Duke, the Duke, oh uh, what is your profession? Y'all got an uphill battle. Let them come up from stairs to you. Yeah, you got the high ground. What the fuck? Oh, man. This is... this is. It's the Harkonnen and the Empire together, isn't it? But I've made a bargain with the Baron. Harkonnen has had my wife, Mona. Oh, my God. They take her apart like a doll. What? It's explained better in the books, but there, yeah. I mean, he might get more. I'm going to replace your back tooth. This tooth will crash without. And you will fill the air with poison. It will be your last breath. No. And if you choose your moment well, it will also be the parents. Dude, wow. that's fucked up. <laughs> it's <laughs> fucking wild. You're like, you can't move, and there's just guys like, I'm gonna install a suicide pill in your mouth. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and just bite By them. crushing your tooth? Yeah, just, just feel bite. free to use it. Right. <laughs> if you want to, I don't know. I'm just giving you a choice, but not really giving you a choice. No, some footsteps, baby doy. Oh, the sacred trees have fallen. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You gotta keep this shit PG 13. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it. I am a 13-year-old. Bro. <laughs> Is he gonna say the line that I hear in all the commercials? What? Let's fight like demons. <laughs> Ooh! Woo! Woo! One yeah. hit. Run up. Oh! With the knee! <laughs> Damn. Bro, he's putting in work out here dressed like a pirate. I love how you can, like, overpower that shield. Like, yeah. it's just sick. Did they kidnap this kid? They put him in drugged him, too. Whoa! Whoa. They're just raising the city oh, at this my point. Oh, God. <laughs> like, dude, they didn't even give anybody a chance. I might actually 100% go re-see this in IMAX. Oh, it's... Oh, yeah. yeah. I think this would be a good one, especially with the Zimmer score. He just said, back up. Uh, Bro, he uh, Oh my god. Hold on. <laughs> they said, nah. He's he like, took out three. Uh, yeah. We're That's good. Donkey right nah, there. You, you got it, man. Right. <laughs> say, hey, hey, baby, let's show shit. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Oh, oh no. It's okay. It's okay. She got it. Dude, this is sick. They didn't want to get slam dunked. Space lanes. What? Oh, they're dialing them in. They're dialing them in. Oh my god. Oh my god. It doesn't end. Leave me alone. <laughs> Laser in. A beam of light that can cause damage. Hmm. Are you. Are you wow. Are you making a joke? Are you... <laughs> uh, I'm saying, like, the, you know, this influenced a lot of future star, uh, sci fi's, including Star Wars. Huh. Woo! It's so weird floating the and shit. Fucking Baron, why is he there? They want it back. They made. But they just. A billion space dollars off of this shit. Yeah, but it wasn't. I mean, you know, somebody like Baron would usually hide in safety until the battle's over. The battle's still well, ongoing, I right? Like, I mean, they just pretty much raised the fucking city. I think it's. it's it, about that. it goes. It's done. Tell him to fucking jump. <laughs> Sweet. Dude, it's like, hold on, what? The mom's a bad. <laughs> the mom's a bad. He's like, I stopped paying attention for 10 seconds. Oh! Nice. That's so tight. I <laughs> want this power. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> Sick. You on the floor. You want oh! oh. Love it. 
How'd they know? Because they didn't get the reply back. Yeah. That's smart. You r- rhythm dance, rhythm dance, remember? Y'all just, okay. You get to the ridge to see how far they are. <laughs> what? Sheesh. Yeah, your daddy dead. And you guys are literally trapped in the desert on a hostile planet, like. Or sorry, right, they're chosen. <laughs> without the suits. Them. Or just some no man's sky shit. They're just With fucked the, up. Yeah, here. without the suits, yeah. <laughs> Quest one, find water. Where do you go? <laughs> There's nothing. Back to the ship. Get everything you think you're gonna need off of there. Man, I feel bad for the father. My fucking family. I do not like that. His name is Vladimir. <laughs> like, so Bro, he's off. about to kill the doctor too. Big fuck he? off, dude! Just floating towards you. Bro, he's about to kill Dr. Yue. What, you, what are your instincts tell you? Because he's a fucking bad guy. He didn't spare Lady Jessica and Paul. Why would he spare the doctor? Uh, this man is gluttony. Although he did keep uh, his... He's a chimera. Promise to drop those two off in the desert. Mm-hmm. Almost. He's about to drop one of them, and the other one was going to get raped. So. Well, not by his command. From her pain? Oh, well, no, he's... Like, yep, there you go. He's probably dead already. UA turns out how your betrayal was not worth it, big dog. It was literally not worth it at all. As betrayals often aren't. Your son is dead, your concubine is dead, and your bloodline ends forever. Well, I'm at least um. get your bitch ass. That's how scared he is of him? And it should be. Don't, don't, don't bite the tooth. Please don't bite the tooth. I mean, yeah, yeah. it's his only I mean. bet right now. He had a shield on the... Yeah, shield, he's still breathing. Oh, dead many people. Okay. He took a bunch out. The whole room. Oh, wow. <laughs> Said you're up now, bruh. She felt it. I mean, she knows, too. Yeah. They got the king's ring. is right there, like, you start putting some shit together. I told you. Are the best of them murdered? I am commanded to say nothing. The Emperor said us here to die. But Damn, why? the Emperor was in on it? They want to get rid of the he family. Was, he was jealous. Remember said the Emperor was jealous? If you remember, like, yeah. the Atreides. Oh my god! <laughs> that seems excessive. What the fuck is Bro, that? Bro, I can't deal with this the, nasty The shit. Atreides army was becoming as strong as the Emperor's. Yeah, yeah, yeah he well, was... They, people were rallying to the Duke's side, yeah. <laughs> Uh, this floating ass bitch. Mm-hmm. Wish I had blue eyes. Context, bro. <laughs> Over Marquette, are you the only one with blue eyes on this? Yep. Mm, Marquette's eye color is to be disputed. I love oh. how they just come out of the sand. Are they coming out of the sand? Oh, they're sick. Woo! Wow, oh, that's so The sick. white suit is so much better. <laughs> oh! Boy. He's like, one day I'm gonna be that dope. What? <laughs> Whoa! Damn. You did this to me! You better just remain me a freak! Alright, Shalomay, you got traps. Damn. My father's dead. You still see those little hints of the spice in here? It's so tight. Mm-hmm. It's like the subtle details in this fucking movie, dude. So sick. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Your father. Lena. I love you. Oh. She. Do you know what this place is? No. It's an old ecological testing station. What do you test here? We were meant to tame the planet. Free the water locked beneath the sands. Then a spice was discovered. Suddenly, no one wanted the desert to go away. Should we have coffee service, please? Of course, yeah. Wow. Oh, a little bit of greenery, a little bit of aqua. Ew. Oh. <laughs> I oh. know, I know. Well, it's going to show me if I'm a coffee addict or not, because boy, howdy. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking pour it up, bro. Y'all got spit water on deck? <laughs> <laughs> Give it. Espresso it is. <laughs> oh, shit. Whoa. Sneaky boys. 
What the hell? Oh, I thought they were like rappelling down. What the fuck? It, uh, jetpacks or something. Jesus. Oh my god. Bro. It's like terrifying. It is. I love it. It's just a built in <laughs> ambush. You're like, if you're in the desert, <laughs> it's possible that you're fucking on right on top of us. Right, exactly. Well, looks like the starter car weren't shit for the Fremen. That's like the type of shit that would give people nightmares, bro. People come back from Vietnam being like, people jumping out of holes mm-hmm. around and shit. <laughs> Whole desert do it. Yep. Go ahead and weapon up. Put your shield on, bro. He looks so much different in this movie without than a beard. anywhere else. It's without a beard, <laughs> just clean, like clean mm-hmm. shaven almost. But like it, it, with his acting, like it's just diff- like the way he carries himself is different. That's good. Yeah. Put your shield on, bro. He has range. He does. Stuff him in the doorway? Well, couldn't tell us about this sooner? Yeah, he pretty much already. No, 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 please. Oh, oh, boo! This is where the vision he had. Yeah. This was the vision. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Don't count him out yet. Woo! Oh! Will you fucking go? Can we get moving? It's impressive, but can we get fucking go? Oh, daddy's up. <laughs> Quietly. Close it, close it, for the love of God, close it! Okay. This is insanity. Jeez. Duncan Idaho! He was the man! <laughs> They're sliding in both directions. <laughs> There you go. There's light everywhere. Fall light in that direction, she means. <laughs> like, why can't we all just stick together and go with you? <laughs> it's the nose thing I was talking about. I think it also collects, like, the kind yeah. from your breathing. Yep. Fuck. Is that a warm? Yeah. That rhythm dancing? Nobody's done it. So get up to the top there. Come on. No! Duncan got pretty much all of them. Woo! He did get there we a go. gang of them. When they're <laughs> gonna retell a story, be like, all right, so he was as tall as 50 Duncan men. Duncan Idaho <laughs> is the MVP. Honestly, like, no one is gonna be like, so you telling me one dude killed 30 of y'all in the hallway? And like, nah, bro, it was a whole battalion. <laughs> I love you, don't even wanna watch the second movie now. <laughs> no! Fuck, fuck. What are Dems? Dumpers? Oh, fuck. Oh, no. They're bringing the worm. That's some real petty technology right there. <laughs> <Uh-oh>. <laughs> Just simulates footsteps. Yeah, I got Whoa, this thing that he was sounds so like close. Like my fucking mom. I'm gonna use the call of worm. <laughs> what? Oh, shit. What, what are you gonna do? Is she about to, uh. No! <gasps> what? Who? Oh! Fuck. She was about to ride that thing. Well, we're all about to die in the most gruesome way possible, baby. Let's go. Falling into a sarlacc. Damn. Fucked up. You gotta eat a lot of sand, too. Boy, those worms must have dry mouth all day. <laughs> like, where do you guys even go from here? I think they said the storm is your best bet, so. Are they being. Dude, like, leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> she said, they said 5,000 miles yeah. of dust. Jesus. Whoa. Everyone's getting fucked up. Whoa. The mystery of life isn't a problem to solve, but a reality to experience. We must 
move with the flow of the process. We must join it. We must flow with it. These motherfuckers ride these worms, bro. This shit's wild. Well, just hope for the best. <laughs> storm take you. Jesus, take oh the wheel. Oh my god, there's no, what the hell? It's one of those back massages you do. <laughs> we chase them into a corridor of storm. You're talking to a puddle of mud. So it's gone, finally. I owe them one requirement. Income and affirmative. Kill them all. Oh, here we go. It's nasty. Damn, I would be... Screaming, I'll be screaming. Yeah! Anxiety. Oh, damn. Oh, okay, of course. Oh. Shit. Are you gonna glide? glide? You're gonna have to glide. Pull those wings up. It's falling. What style? You're getting... Hopefully that thing glides. It glides. They showed it before it glides. Oh, there we go. fuck. Oh, no. My God! Look, not going what to kind of who made like all that? these fucking machines? Right. Well, we got it. The desert is not kind to equipment. You're getting further and further onto the desert, being like, man. Once we solve this problem, we're only gonna have <laughs> ten more. Yeah. <laughs> they need to find the what are those things called? The sakes or whatever. Yeah, the sakes. Thousand series. feet up. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck! You're gonna spin. Oh. You need a little bit of extra thrust to keep you from hitting hard. Fuck. Fuck. You're fucking buried. This looks practical. Yeah, it looks really good. Alright, get the fuck out, get the fuck out, get the fuck out. Stand warm, stand warm, stand warm. Concussion, concussion. <laughs> Whiplash, concussion. <laughs> Just use the adrenaline. Run to that's, the a, that's the only thing I'd be having is pure adrenaline. Get your bags. Let's go. Shit, they're on some uh, tremor shit. Are they going to finally meet? I don't know, but they're also back to square one, which is... <laughs> We're stuck in the desert with no water, no food. Nothing, yeah. Well, they, I think they have still suits this time, at least. Ugh. I love it. I love how about business they are right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he's being smart. Because they're just like, yo, we're going to die out here. Mm. He's like, I heard something Coming over through. yonder. <laughs> I felt something here. <laughs> There Check it out, Steve. You guys home? Hello? <laughs> We've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. They find it? Uh oh. Run. Oh, shit. Fuck. Drum sand? They're probably getting close enough, oh. so it's like, uh, like yeah. bomb landmines or yeah, whatever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's like a minefield or like a moat. It's a way to protect yourself. Yeah. Oh, intruders. God, no. Rocks, go to the rocks. Oh my god. Haul, haul, haul. Haul, haul. Haul, haul. Haul, haul. Get it, buddy. We got like 10 more movies to get through. Theoretically. Ew. It's too big to even comprehend. <laughs> right? I know, I can barely see shit. There it is. Oh. He's checking them out. Hey, guys. Oh. Oh. Tell it to go away in your voice. Maybe this one's friendly. No. Bro, if I can't tell you if I'm looking at your face or your asshole, you're not friendly. Someone shut off the thumper. That's why it stopped. That sound over there. Uh, it's the uh, thing that produces that little light. Just hits the ground. So yeah. It, off. it looks like a wrinkly penis, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so a penis. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna displace a shit ton of sand. Right? It's literally uh, so big, it's turning sand into water. It's crazy. Like, it's just creating new geography. People trying to draw maps of the planet, and they're just like, bro, fuck this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Photographers, like, I quit. New job. Oh, shit. Friendlies. Friendlies. You coming, Pete? Oh, the dude. Remember me. I was kind to you. I offered you honor. You help us off world to Caladan, you will be well rewarded. What wealth can you offer beyond the water? Mm -hmm. Damn. Uh, I'll bring you back a pool, bro. You may have sanctuary, but the woman isn't drained. Woo! <gasps> 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 Damn, we just clocked him. Now we got two blood bags. Oh, oh shit! Why didn't you say you were a weirding woman and a fighter? Conversation 
Bro, he went up there, unfolded a gun, and got the high ground. <laughs> Siege. Don't give him back the knife. Do not. Bruh. I mean, do we all have to do it? <laughs> yeah, like what? I mean, shit, man, it's on you. I would not have let you hurt my friend. <gasps> <laughs> Damn, she quiet too. <laughs> like forget a cat. To, forget to watch your six there, son. The girl from my dreams. I invoke the untold. <gasps> you may not challenge a Sayadina. Then I will fight in her. Sayadina? Don't do this. I accept her challenge. I don't know about Everybody else was like, come on, bro, the sun's coming up. We got places. Yeah, to it's like, bro, like. Can we get closer to the city and then fight? And they're like, no, we're gonna do it now. <laughs> it's watching it play out. Sand wound. This will be a great honor for you to die holding. <laughs> no faith in him at all. You're gonna die. <laughs> yeah, we're not even using our shield. I mean, I don't even think he brought it out with him. Yeah. He's not ready to kill. You got him twice. Three times. Three times. <laughs> he's so shitty, he's like, nah, you did not give me three times. Oh god. Just tell me your voice to kill himself, so you don't have to kill him. Is he gonna kill himself? Oh. <laughs> he's so shitty. Like, oh well, fuck. Let us throw or his wrist or whatever he's supposed to do. You wanted the smoke, bro. The Emperor sent us to this place. And my father came. Not for spice, not for the riches, but for the strength of your people. My road leads into the desert. Damn. If you'll have us, we will come. That'd be so shitty. Yeah. But I gotta carry your dumb ass because you really wanted to fucking fight. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. <laughs> I mean, he's all the way. <laughs> Even 190 pounds. That's like, uh. He's 70% water. What's the siege? That's <laughs> hey! oh, so fucking wild. What? what if it submerges? Do you just hop off? I guess so. Oh, don't end here. Don't end here. I'll be fine if they do. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot more after this needs to be told. So good like, God. Yeah, this might be a good place to end. Let us see the siege at least. Oh, no. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, that is about the halfway point in the book. Wow. God damn. All right. Wow. Okay. Well, yeah. that was good. They did it. Yeah. I, I mean, my tried to make the book. They said it was undoable, but that shit felt doable to me. Oh, this is wow. How, dope. How where, where, did you guys feel lost? Did you guys pick up on? I don't no, know. I feel no, like I'm, no, I'm good. I mean, yeah. for all the thickness, it's it feels like it's pretty straightforward. Yeah. 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 I think they did a really good job. Like, I mean, I mean, it's it's pretty impressive how like. Uh, little like exposition there was, you know, like there wasn't like yeah. beefy monologues. Like they, they they found a way to write it very naturally. Like it's mm -hmm. it was good. I think aside I, from I keeping know. up with the um, difficult to remember names because you haven't heard them before. Right. Yeah. I didn't <laughs> right. think it was very hard to keep up with at all. It's a lot of difficult mm -hmm. vernacular. It was definitely. It helped me write the names down. Oh yeah. All right. Probably that definitely would help you. Well, I'm gonna keep this going just in case yeah. there's a there's a little something something. Duncan Idaho, man. Duncan Idaho. Idaho. I'm getting a tattoo Idaho. of Duncan Idaho. No, you're not. <laughs> so, 
So like this whole time I was trying <laughs> to keep back. It's just a donut and then Idaho. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. There it is. Um, <laughs> man, I think it looked great. I think it sounded great. I think it was cool. I don't think it was very hard to follow. It did feel epic. Oh yeah. it, uh, yes. They really took their time. I think an epic has to kind of be long to feel epic. Right. Yeah. Um they talked everything up. I don't know, man. It felt and it just got style. It kind of reminds me, I don't know if you guys saw um Blade Runner 20 mm-hmm. 40, 49. 49, but mm-hmm. like it had like kind of that like same director. Is it the same director? Same oh, director. well, style. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's really coming across like his kind of pacing and the, the gravitas he's able to give like scenes like it really mm-hmm. it's got like oh, it's got a mood to it. it's crazy yeah. Yeah. He's, he's perfect for this material you know what's funny it's like when i stopped watching the original today i stopped right at about this point mm-hmm. so that means the original goes on a little bit further than the oh, original okay. dune movie does because i stopped it was about okay. three fourths okay. of the way and it was right when he met up with the fremen as he did right now right with his mom and that's right about where i stopped it it's, it's, I think it was a good stopping point. Oh, yeah, it's um, making me want for part two. Like, I feel like this was a good, like you said, stopping point. Yeah. Enough information, yeah. enough stuff with, like, you know, the part with the Emperor and the whatever. So it sets up, like, the future fights and everything. I want to see part two. I, I hope yeah. this does well at the box office. I, I hope this, sure. like, this continues. Like, I, I like I said, like, the, this this has potential for, like, eight to ten movies. Like, e- easily, easily. And so like I, you barely got to see Zendaya at all, and now you see her actress in mm-hmm, it too. Mm-hmm. Sorry, Mark, what you're saying? Oh, I really do hope that it does well at the box office, but I have, um, I have Doubts. fear that it won't. It's it's a pretty because, thick story. Yeah, like I don't know. It's not very like mainstream friendly. Yeah, that's how Blade Runner is as well. Yeah, I don't know though, but like, what makes Lord of the Rings or whatever like? Friendly. This History is why and it's hype. different. The pace, also yeah. fantasy. The pacing's also a little it's bit quicker. It's fantasy, yeah. This yeah. is sci-fi. It's a little bit punchier. Yeah. Like, like uh, okay, sci-fi. Star Wars. This, uh, also pacing. Ah. this story has a lot of, like, um, I'm not saying the other stories don't, but the, this one is, like, a lot of philosophical subtext and, like, uh-huh. the, the subject matter that they're going into and, like, not you know, not everything is as it seems and that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's witches involved, so I'm, yeah. The, I ba- think the Benny Jesuit, they're they're yeah. low key running. Are, yeah. They're right. low key running the show. I mean, yeah. Based mm-hmm. on what right. they said and based on the fact that they got Timothy Chalamet to where he needed to be for the growth that he's going to need. Based on the fact that they can tell anybody to do whatever the fuck they want them to do. Right. So, but so, then even Doctor Yu is like, don't trust trust them, kind of thing. So th- th- that that's my favorite part about this story is like the the, right. the, the Benny Jesuit, uh planted the myth of the oh god there's so many terms yeah the myth of the the the, 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 the leah the, the one the you know the, the leah the gabby the leah the leah the leah Le- yeah you, you know what I'm talking yeah, yeah they yeah. planted yeah. him as a myth so but it became Lisa part of their guy. culture yeah and so and, and even uh paul's vision of like what he sees coming like he's you know getting his powers he's gonna be this badass he is he is i guess by the book the one but like he still sees all this like turmoil coming that he he won't be able to you know either yeah he may not be able to do anything about so it's just like yeah it's, it's good well, I, think, really I think they did a really good job man mm-hmm. I think yeah i um i hope that people in the box or people that go out to see the movie are able to give it a chance and i think its best bet is that it's going to have legacy like yeah. doom's been in the cultural conversation for a long time mm-hmm. there's fucking family guy jokes about it and shit like it runs yeah deep enough in pop culture that i think people go out and give it a chance and if it rates high which excuse me i'm gonna burp real quick <laughs> uh, if it rates high, i think it's gonna rate high because it's really well done so i think it'll get a pretty high critic score hopefully it gets a high audience score and if it gets that off of this like a uh, weekend here at the box office or whenever it hits box offices then i think that that'll push it so then like yeah i also feel like the casting is gonna help a lot because you got like yeah. Timothy and oh, who like yeah. you mm-hmm. know speak out to maybe some of us millennials but mostly like gen z but then mm-hmm. you have like jason and isaac um oscar who will speak out to us millennials well i mean they're all gone you know they they like i mean yeah i wonder who they're they gonna did. be <laughs> yeah i wonder who, i no. wonder i wonder who because I mean that sets precedence. Like this was a star-studded castle. Yeah. I'm guessing the next one would have to also be. I mean, if it makes money and I'm a star, I would like to be a part of the Dune universe now while I can. <laughs> yeah, right. Get me definitely. outside of. They already. You already had all of DC and Marvel in here, and just like right. put me outside of yeah. DC yeah. and Marvel. Let me hop I, in there. I, I do agree with Marquetta though. Like, like the way, like you said, it really took its time, which I, I mm-hmm. enjoyed. But I, I could see a lot of people like falling asleep in the movie theater too. Man, yeah. I definitely no. want to see this again because yeah, yeah. 
and nuts. I, yeah. Like especially the soundtrack. Yeah. It's just like I, I just want to be immersed. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this yeah. was great, but um, also whenever like you know we have these like big lights up here, and it was really hard to see the, like, the warm, yeah, sure. um, the war- the warm mouth. Like I was the literally just time. like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact about the original film is the it was scored by Toto, the band. <laughs> oh my god! The David Lynch movie. Are you serious? It's scored by Toto. <laughs> That's <laughs> dope. And, and one one parallel I thought <laughs> of is um, between Blade Runner and this is not only is uh, Denny Villeneuve the director of both Twenty Forty Nine and this, but in uh, the original Blade Runner, the actress who was the love interest, mm-hmm. she plays the love interest in Dunes and Dies. Oh, okay, character. nice, nice, okay. nice. Yeah. So, so yeah, a parallel between the original and the sequel. It's uh, yeah. kind of funny. I it's not a I guy. like that it takes its time. It reminds me. This is gonna be a weird stretch, but not in that much of a way of Tenet because it's probably the most visually interesting thing I've seen all year. Mm. Oh, that was mm-hmm. a job, Like, mm-hmm. when did we see, when did Tenet come out? Was that the show that last year? Last year. Yeah, it was 2020. Yeah. But like, I remember seeing Tenet just being like, what the fuck am I watching? And like, yeah, while I'm watching this being like, like, what the fuck's actually happening? And like, <laughs> I love that. It's like, so visually striking with things that I've never seen before. It feels like really inventive. Mm-hmm. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Um, they did a really good job adapting the book, but if you guys ever have time, I, I would still recommend like checking okay, out. Okay, why were they were in Cause, Jordan? Because they because they where they were. There's a lot that's, of they're filming in the desert. That's the that crown. Abu Dhabi? That's the Jordanian crown. Oh, yeah, they probably filmed yeah. in well, the desert. Yeah. And there's yeah. Abu Dhabi, also an Abu Dhabi or, or Abu Dhabi crown could be probably. whatever. Yeah. I probably. I thought Jordan being my country. Sorry. A possible Abu Dhabi. No, yeah. Well, I was just saying there's there's still they you know like le- there's still quite quite a bit in the books that they kind of not either brush past or just kind of like you know didn't have as much time to mm. go into it. I like mean, uh, while the Harkonnen uh, were preparing for this coup or you know trying to take the power back, there is a lot of talk in the book about like they go a lot more into like the economy. Yeah. Si- side of yeah. warfare yeah. and like the value of spice because like mm-hmm. you 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 heard him say like start selling it was Jordan I was right sorry you you, you heard him say uh, start selling our reserves so like yeah. Yeah, there, there was a lot of like economic fuckery which happening. is wild if you're the fucking emperor of yeah. space I assume you don't let one family control the resource that is the most important thing to the galaxy right. you would want to spread that out because they can literally fix the fucking market right. by holding it it's I don't true. know shit about well, no economics, but I'm just I, saying I, I, if they've got all the spice and spice is the most important thing, they get to control the price, right? I guess it's I guess that. it's because it's bottlenecked to one planet, but uh, yeah, because yeah. like if you put multiple families and they're gonna be like, no, we we you know like we we are you know there's gonna be hierarchy 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 hierarchy. I, I like <laughs> when they touched on the point that the uh, the Fremen wanted to like they had the means to transform the planet into being more like habitable. <laughs> Right. And just, you know, uh, how to, like, open up the valves of the, the underground water and just, like, re... What mm-hmm. is it called? Um, like, terraform. Terraform, terraform. terraform uh, the country. I mean, the, the planet. And uh, and then when the spice was discovered, they were like, you are going to continue to live in poverty because right. this is now my resource. My but, but, but also on that note, like, the Fremen do have, like, the means to do this stuff, but, like, that's the thing with the religious engineering is they're still kind of waiting around for this figure to come and like start things mm. you know what i mean like <laughs> they could do it themselves i'm sure like if they like band Deep it together the but they're like they're they're waiting for their religious prophecy to come true yeah. also i want to know how they're gonna i uh and if you two know the answer please please no spoils but i want to know why spice is important to space travel yeah i know that it I is like important to to i don't know if it's like something that, that, if it's like, like a fuel power. yeah i don't know if it's if it generates power, if it's something that people can take so they can survive in space better on the long hauls because so, a long enough time in space will get you a certain amount of cancer. That's Who knows? That, see, that's the thing. They, I wish they would have gone a little bit more into the spice because it, it's kind of like an all-purpose thing and they go mm-hmm. a lot more into it in the books. Like, it's also highly addictive. So, like, once yeah. you start taking it, you pretty much have to keep taking it. For like that's why person, everybody's yeah. eyes are blue because they, yeah. they've been exposed to I mean, spice. They also get blue. Yeah, yeah. It, it's used. It's used to help them. It's more of like a cartographer's thing because it's used to help them chart paths through the stars. The the people who work like the humans who work for the empire. It mm. helps them chart paths through the stars so they know where they're going. It, they don't do it necessarily in real time, I don't think. You know what so I mean? Like I think they take it, and then they're able to see like where they're, you know, through the stars, and they chart hmm. a path. And I, th- they I think say, they ships have... have to go this way, right? Okay. I'm not or sure. They have people on board the ships that are like. I feel like I see. I don't. I, I that that I'm not. Uh, yeah, I'm cl- big on that. I'm not clear remembering details. on that, but I think Spice does have. 
to do with like um well they mention it in the beginning yeah. of the film. Yeah, 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 right. But they also uh, have compasses. Why would they have compasses if No, those compasses were just for the planet. Because it had two moons. That, yeah, okay, yeah, so that um for, did, did they figure out Faster than light travel before or after Spice. That's what, oh, like, no. did well, spice... spice is on Arrakis. Right. So it wouldn't have been faster than light travel. It could have just been within a solar system travel. Mm -hmm. So if the Empire is positioned next to Arrakis, Arrakis already has people on it somehow. Dune already has people yeah. on it. It's they a... find out, they get there, and they're like, oh, shit, this happens to also have a drug yeah. that'll let us expand our Empire. We will take this until we expand the Empire. Boom, we got an Empire. Families yeah. have risen up. I'm tired of doing all the Spice. Hey... Uh, fuckers, y'all do the spice for me. Yeah, Thanks. it's it's just important to everything. It's like single handedly the most valuable resource in in yeah. in, in this known universe. It would make sense if the Empire family were the first to find it and literally was able to mine it for so fucking long that they were just like, okay, well, right, yeah, we're space trillionaires. Who's next? <laughs> yeah, I would like to also know more about the Baron. Yeah, um, how mm -hmm. how he got the way he is so yeah. close to the empire, emperor. floaty. Yeah, and uh, how I'm uh, probably interested to know how old he is. <laughs> well, I got a theory on the bear. There's a what? Uh, Let's hear it. Well, greedy, 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 fat boy. He's eating too much, and so now he is greedy and fat, and he's using space technology to make him float because his yep. fat boy legs don't work no more. Yeah, that, 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 <laughs> yeah. that is like, actually it's a Wally. That's actually exactly what it it's is. It's a Wally yeah. situation. That, like those yeah. things that you see light up in the back. So like, yeah, that's it. You see him floating. That's the technology because he's so fat he can't Which move is, around. But like, it's also like an testament to his greed. Yeah, like they just he's came lying. back from. I yeah. forgot how many billions they said that they made, but it was enough is the mm. answer. And he was like, Yeah, we would like to go back for more, please. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's about the power too. It's not just about the. I don't know. But the Baron. So the Baron is not the Emperor. No. There's the another person who is the yeah. Emperor no. the, the, that we haven't met yet. Yeah. No, the Emperor was a scared yeah. ass bitch. The Emperor <laughs> was jealous yeah. of the Atreides house because yes. their army was getting too yes. strong. So he. So yeah. so so another I, thing in the books, like during the battle, they realize that the Sardaukar were there, and I think that happens in the book too, or in the books too. But mm -hmm. one detail in the books, I think they were sending the Sardaukar with Harkonnen. Uh, uniforms on so that yeah. the Atreides wouldn't be wise. That also, the, that's the, why the, when Duncan says, if you fight it, because, okay, yeah. Yeah, they were sending them with Harkonnen uh, uniform because the Emperor didn't want to be connected with it. So he's mm -hmm. so he's kind of yeah. trying to puppet things from the back. But also, like, our heroes know they killed everyone else. But also, visually, uh, it would take a bit of exposition to tell that part. And visually, you just show that they're there and they meant right. to wipe out everybody so no one would know anyway. So right, like, yeah. I mean, they're bombing them from mm. orbit, bro. It's pretty right. interesting from like a filmmaking aspect to how in the the David Lynch movie they introduce all of the themes in like a different order. Mm -hmm. So like from Jump, from the initial intro, you know that he's the only born son of this woman, yeah, and that mm -hmm. she's only supposed to have daughters. Daughters, but you mm -hmm. know that from like the very beginning. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just the interesting the order of like how they introduce information versus like this yeah. one. Mm -hmm. it, it lands all on the same beats. Like I, you know, and, and there are scenes that are identical <laughs> too, which is funny because they, you have things out of order, but you have scenes where it's like dialogue and pacing and everything is exactly the same. So the, it's just interesting how they do that. There's also another aspect of the book that I won't say because for future movies, but like the whole story is being narrated by a character in the future that we haven't even like met yet <laughs> so like this is this is really a retelling of like uh mm -hmm. events so that this this story spans like a very long time so mm -hmm. there's, oh, there's a lot it. there's a lot of potential here i'm into it i'm yeah. hyped for it i'd play a dune video game if you guys decide to make one <laughs> it's just hey. salmon's running around dude around. just riding a uh, riding one of those worms there just, actually just now that you mention that there is a narrator at the beginning of the movie who never comes back um, so that's interesting. You yeah, that. yeah, yeah. In, yeah it, it, in, in the older one, in the David Lynch movie, it starts yeah. out with somebody just talking to the audience, yeah. addressing them, and then the story starts. There's a never seen yeah, it's it's one of those stories where there's like thousands thousands of years of history. Like it's just like there's so much. That Seven Eves. When Seven Eves drops, I will be there. And people are going to be like, bro, you've been talking about the show. I'm gonna yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm going to download it. You have it. Actually, I think I did download it. I just have to bro, start. Just, just I, to I just have to start it's it. Yeah. It's crazy. No, this was amazing. Yeah. I, I, I think R.I.P. to Doctor and Duncan, man. I think yeah. that the Duke. 
And the girl, the ecologist. Yeah. 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 I mean, I thought she, oh, and, I uh, and shout out Mapes. I was Her. waiting. All those characters died in the, the, the uh, David Lynch movie, by the way. I was Aww. just waiting for them to go. Because, yeah. again, happened out of order is to the original or to yeah. the first movie. So I was yeah. waiting. I was kind of like, how's oh, this going to happen? Also, shout out Timothy. Uh, shout out Timothy. Yeah, shout this is my first oh, film yeah. I've seen of him. Yeah, yeah. I haven't yeah. seen him in any oh, I haven't seen him ever before. And really good actor. What I mean, else I is he in? Yeah, and that guy is amazing. Call Me By Your Name, which won an Academy Award. And then... Uh, uh, the remake of Little Women, which also won an Academy Come Award. Oh, well, he's going to win us an Academy Award, Award on this. Yeah. We'll see. Well, guys, this was awesome. Can we watch another one? <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, I can't wait for the next one. Yeah, I think yeah. it was really well written. Good, good job, guys. What did you guys think? Let us know in the comments. And uh, yeah, man, we're going to be definitely waiting for the n next one. Maybe we'll read the other books and do some book clubs. Yeah. Um, yeah. See you in three years. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Bye. See ya. everyone, thanks for watching, and a big shout out to Raga, Michal, Zaki, Clayton, Mr. Mamas, Joe Mags, Keyboard Junkie, Tommy. Thanks guys.